Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's me time for some Europa Universals or as the Netherlands in our Netherlands campaign. Uh, let's get more right characters there. Okay. And what's our fourth one? Like here. Okay. Okay, so last one left off, we got out of a war. We took over a lot of stuff in the New World, if I remember correctly. So now we're at peace. And we took over a lot of stuff over here. Holy shit! That's weird. What happened here? Oh, you know what? I Now I know what happened here. Holy fuck! Okay, so that's unfortunate. So let's take a look over here. So down here in Portuguese Brazil, I knew I should have sent troops over here. I should have sent troops down here. There were there were Portuguese Brazilian separatists that rose up in Dutch Brazil, and I thought that he could take care of the revolt, but it, apparently he could not. So he actually ended up giving most of his territory back to uh, Portuguese Brazil. That is unfortunate. We're gonna have to get that shit back. Although it looks like he did core most of this territory, so it's gonna be that's gonna be a reconquest war possibly, um, or maybe a concession. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Damn. Okay. Interesting. All right. That's uh. That's unfortunate. Damn, that sucks. Okay, anyway, so we're rebuilding our navy, we're rebuilding our manpower, all sorts of stuff we gotta do. Um, there's just, there's a lot that we need to build, and there's a lot of, like, workshops and stuff we're working on. Okay, and then I was gonna build, let's see, let's take a look here. We got most of these trade depots. What I was looking at was possibly building shipyards. Um, manpower modifier, we've already really worked on a lot of that. The universities I wanted to build, because we wanted to build a lot of universities here, so we'll, we'll work on that. Let's see how it goes. Shh. Shh. My damn cat is meowing at me. He likes to go outside. He's an indoor cat, but he likes to go outside. But I tell him, no! He's not allowed to go outside. Okay, let's see. Yeah, so we're going to be attacking Cologne here in a little bit. Um, We're going to go, like, you know, start our Blitzkrieg. Blitzkrieg of things. We have about 30,000 men in the hole. We're recovering almost a thousand a month though, which is which is nice. Um, we're focusing right now on military. We make a shit ton of money. We make 135 ducats a month. So probably increasing the power of our advisors would not be bad. I don't have any half cost advisors. We could get some if we wanted to, but Let's see, New Netherlands, you are getting disloyal. I don't like that. I don't like you. Burgundy. Malevolent. Okay. So once we get our once we get our military all nice or our navy and our military nice and built up, we're actually gonna build a second navy that's gonna permanently just be stationed out here in Asia. Apparently Ming is at war with Bengal, Balmanis in Japan and Russia. Holy shit. Well we wanted to take Ceylon. How many troops does Bamanis have? We wanted to take Ceylon. The thing is, is we need to battle Bamanis and Ming for that. He's got 40,000 men power. 3,000 cavalry. Bohemia's pretty strong. Bohemia actually used to have a disputed succession. I think actually Sweden does have a disputed succession. We could do royal marriage here. Okay. So we got a royal marriage with Sweden. He would take an alliance. Okay, there's the Enlightenment. Who got it? Who got the Enlightenment Institution? What? You're shitting me, right? Are you kidding me? All the way out here? Oh, wow. That's ridiculous. Okay. So apparently some dude in Asia got the enlightenment. Wow. Err, uh, yeah. Asia, right? That is Asia. Okay, that's unfortunate. So let's actually take a look here. Can we go revolutionary? I do wonder. Who'd create a coup? Court and country. The rest of these ones, absolutism, at least 50. Independence for French Louisiana. 
39% administrative efficiency. Okay. Capital of a country of full innovative new breath from the provinces enlightenment. We need uh we could use a scientist or a philosopher. Scientist would speed it up. Here we go. And okay, cool. Anyway, so the age of absolutism is gonna come to an end. And we have our Dutch Golden Era going on right now. So. Uh, let's take that. We're gonna get an extra merchant. Oh, we actually have two merchants available now. Um. That's from the North Sea. Lubick. Do like one here. <clears throat> Let's try that. Okay. Let's see. We can demand impact support there. We can grab monopoly charters here. We got French Louisiana and separatists. Can he take care of that on his own? I do hope so. Yeah, I'm actually kind of pissed off about what happened here. Those Portuguese separatists, or Portuguese Brazilian separatists, it's actually really unfortunate. Damn. So we have Nova Hollandia there. The New Netherlands is much larger, but how is he not able to maintain a more large army? Is he in debt? Let's check. Possibly could be. I just realized we actually we do have two we do we do have two colonies colonies that are basically the same name New Netherlands and New Holland and then Nova Hollandia Nova Hollandia is like literally they all say the same damn thing <laughs> that's funny I don't know fucking hell Burgundy go fuck yourself dude you're not getting those cores back I'm serious. You're not getting those cores back. Oh, Jesus. Baroque music. Let's give him a little gift. Let's make sure you can pay this off. All right, let's make sure you can get rid of these guys. We have a shit ton of money. We have a lot of money. Um, we're gonna want to build a bunch of universities. Let's see. Cruel behavior of uncouth officers. You know what, Burgundy? You know what? You pissed me off, dude. Piss me off. Okay, so let's build... Because these, these are gonna give us construction slots. And all these... We get one possible building, which is, like, huge. So... Or else we'd have to develop more. And, and I mean, we could develop. Like, there's nothing wrong with that, but... Holy shit, look at that. Developing Greningen. Oh my god. 31 development there. Yeah. I mean, look at this. Even developing our capital is only 37 points. That is insanity. Not to mention the innovativeness. You know, our our capital is 32 development, man. We could we could just develop it into oblivion if you wanted to. Although really Amsterdam would make the most sense for the capital. Yeah. So it's the center of trade, whereas Den Haag is not. Then again, I mean, this one belongs to the burgers, and the burgers we get an additional 50% local trade power because of them, so I don't know. What's the general here? Let's keep drilling. Honestly, army professionalism really doesn't, doesn't increase that fast. There we go. He might have been in debt or something, yeah. Because we, we got him troops now. F 
French Louisiana is actually fairly large. That truce with Portugal is now over. Let's go for Morale of Armies guy. That truce with Portugal is now over, so I can attack him for, you know, Portuguese Brazil or anything. Anything I want. Because we are going to vassalize him too, but now we have to concede Portuguese Brazil yet again. He's also still a tributary state of Ming. Um, although, my god, Ming is getting wrecked. I also wanted to attack Bamanis, though. For Ceylon. I mean, I could straight up vassalize you, actually. He's also allied with Spain. Now, Spain doesn't actually possess anything I want over here. Even New Spain, I really don't actually care about. Um... Yeah, I really just don't care. He can have New Spain for all I, for all I care. I don't know. Can we force him to bring his alliance with Portugal? Spain's a Greek power. I mean, we don't have any manpower anyway. Yeah, no. <laughs> We're not increasing serfdom. It's not going to happen. Alright, yeah, maybe we go and attack for... Uh, well, what's Bomanis' fleet? How many, how many ships does he have? He's got 27 heavies. Okay. Alright, why don't we go ahead and... Yeah, why don't we declare war on... Um, on Bomanis for Ceylon? Let's see. Main fleet is here. I'll send two. I'll send another stack over there. We've got no manpower though. I don't know. I'll send you over here to uh, Hull Hawaii. I, mean, I, I can slack in the recruiting standards if I want to. Gets me twenty-two thousand manpower. We could do some stuff to the nobility. Holiday yet. Why? Why are you guys down here? Damn it. I thought you were part of a trade company. Should be part of a trade company. Most of this should be anyway. There we go. Let's go ahead and put a let's put an admiral here. Damn, that admiral's pretty good. I wish we could afford more leaders. That'd be kind of nice. Okay, so we can declare war on Bamanis. It looks like whatever war that they were having with Ming is now over. We could declare um, with the help of the Ottomans. Damn, Delhi and Corson, Bamanis, Bengal. Delhi just went to war against Ming, and these guys up here. Oh, really? Right when I hire an admiral, they give me a free one? Wow, they're almost the exact same stats. Actually, this person's worse. They have more maneuver, but less shock. So, I'm just gonna get rid of that. Okay, why don't we invade for Ceylon? Is Bengal a great power? Yeah, so I can call in the Ottomans with no problem. Sure, why not? You wanna come in, Ottomans? Are you busy with anything? No. Okay. Um, imperialism? What are we doing? How many forces do you have? Quite a few. A lot of them are mothballed, though. They are level fours, though. Where is his capital? Yeah. In Badar. We are battling Bengal too, yeah. Okay, yeah, sure, I'll call in the Ottomans. Um, I think I, I think I'm gonna make it. Yeah, I'll make it a. Um, oh yeah, he's allied with the Karakoy and Lu as well. Oh, that's perfect. That's why the Ottomans desire shit. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, we'll make it imperialism. I think it's just easiest. Our natural scientist died. 
artist theologian. We don't have any inflation, like, ever. We can honestly take, like, a million loans if we want to. Yeah, I'll take you. Wow. Those are, those advisors are expensive. Holy oh, shit. Damn, we significantly outnumber this alliance. Oh yeah, you know what? We do want to attack Spain. You know why? Because we want Australia. I forgot. Okay, well yeah, we'll attack um We'll attack him a little bit. We'll take Australia from him. We'll attack him. It'll be fine. It'll be fun. And then we'll also get back Portuguese Brazil. We'll actually probably co belligerent Spain. Yeah, that'll be that'll be excellent. Okay, so Ottomans, you kill Car Coin Loom. I'm gonna go ahead and grab these men from Taiwan. Let's teleport over a general. Brazil, noble rebels, of course. What general's in charge here? Let's see. 11 years in on tech, we can take that goods produce modifier. We also do get a land maintenance modifier at half cost. And does a land maintenance modifier or land force modifier? No, I think it's a land maintenance modifier guy. There we go, yeah. Land maintenance modifier guy. Holy god, bro! What the f- Was that from their production? Holy shit! Our income just increased substantially because of that goods produced modifier. Plus 10%? Oh my lord. That's incredible. Jesus. Look at that money! Oh, wow. Okay. See how we fare against the Bamanis. Whoa. Okay, large military force there already. Why'd you go that way? Come on, dude. Oh, we can't even get there. Okay. Oh, well, here then. Yeah, this jungle attrition is gonna hurt. Very much. Wow, look at that. Relative strength of alliances scares the shit out of him. Alright, we'll get a full occupation of the card coin loot. We'll do something to him. I don't know. I know, I know that, um... The Ottomans desire a lot from him, so that's gonna be cool. Damn, look at that. That's Bengal troops, too. I wonder if I can convince him to come here to this fort. Yeah, let's see if we can do that. Okay. So we got more discipline. We got a good general. We got more tactics. We got more morale. Okay, these are the Bamani troops. Um, we have way more tactics, actually. I'm not sure why. He's actually behind a whole tech level. I did not know that. Holy shit, dude. Yeah. You gotta, do, you gotta better rolls than this, because he's about to be reinforced. We got a 10 to a 4, wow. Okay, so we just got reinforced again. He outnumbers me now, but his deployment is just off. We got a 0 to a 9. Fuck. Nine to a four. Five to a ten. Okay, our front line is breaking. Dude, holy shit. We lost 22,000 to kill... 
37 plus 239, like 51 or 52,000 men. Wow. That was pretty cool. Let's have you stay back here for a second. That's pretty sweet. A lot of troops. Damn it. This guy's gonna have to hold. Hold, you bastard. Oh, you fucking asshole. Yeah, we just got wrecked. We have men power now. <laughs> How much men power does he have, anyway? Come on, he's got 26,000. He's actually murking up like crazy now. The fuck? God damn it, really, man? Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me. I did not mean to cross that fucking road crossing. He's not there. You son of a bitch. Fucking game. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's go see what this. Ottomans, you don't want nothing? Oh. Alright. I don't know, I just want to like release something. I guess not. <clears throat> Slant maintenance modifier guy is nice, but I might have grabbed a reinforced speed guy. Probably would come in handy. I wonder, can we have a revolution? I don't think so, because we are... We are ourselves. You fucking assholes. Jesus. Dude, god damn it! Ah, you fucking Mamanis! We should not be losing this war, dude. We have a tech advantage against this guy. What the fuck? I'm out of prestige now, so I can't even keep these guys loyal anymore. Mother of God. When the hell did we take one port? Oh, it was the Brits. Son of a bitch. We're only trying to go for Ceylon. We have minus 50% war score because we haven't taken his capital. Uh, I'm honest. You pissed me off. Yeah, we gotta get to his capital quick. Maybe a seaborne invasion would be the easier thing to do. Caravan power! Isn't Mamanis my rival, or he rivaled me? Uh, I forget which one. Did 
Dude, come on. No, dude, go here. What? Alright, fine, go here. Okay, so we're out of manpower now. It's a 40 tradition general. What is the fastest way to get up there? Hmm. I'm not sure. Probably Masur. Yeah, I think so. Here, go to Masur. He's got Siege. Nope. Okay. Uh, will this give me innovativeness? I'm not sure. I think we need to develop back at home, though. Holy shit. Delhi's no longer considered a great power. I didn't know he actually was a great power. Price of cotton changes? Cool. No! Oh. Support for government? Cool. No! Oh. Jesus. No! Oh, really? It's 64%. We can't take that? Jesus. You got imperialism against Mongolia. Holy shit, Mongolia got released. Damn, dude. There's a fuck ton of troops. Alright, we need wall breaches because we gotta get to that capital and get rid of this war. We're running out of manpower, so we can't really continue this for too long. Alright, let's see what he does. Nice. We shouldn't kill as many as I thought we would. <coughs> Wall breach. Select the army. Colonies. Let's go over here. Yeah, dude, lack of manpower is the issue. Like, I could, I could probably fight indefinite wars if we had manpower to do so. But we don't. Wow! The Ottomans white pieced! Holy shit, they're really not as strong as you think they are. Dude, holy fuck. Wow, did you guys see how much we just developed those places? Whoa. That's pretty gnarly. Groningen. Dude, we still have not seen this capital? Finally. Alright, so give me those. Give me more reps. Yep. We got a uh, trade steering, ship trade power propagation. Discover Australia. Apparently, we get permanent claims somewhere. We get Dutch Formosa. 
Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, because you're going to go for Indonesia, right? I almost forgot. Get a military support. Yeah, so we got we got permanent claims on some stuff there, and then we've discovered Australia, so that's cool. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna conquer the Dutch East Indies. I almost forgot. Well, we're going to take one of these armies home. Let me get one of these armies out here. That war was too painful. Bullshit. Fuck the Bamanis. Little bastards. Little bastards. Alright, let's see. Oh yeah, we can get lovely forts now. We can also get manufactories. Um, okay, cool. Yeah, we'll upgrade, we'll upgrade to our lovely forts. I do not want knowledge sharing from my subjects. Fat bastards. Okay. So, yes, we'll keep an army here in Ceylon. That's fine. And then, um... Are we gonna make it a trade company region? We could make it into a state if we wanted to. I'm actually gonna go ahead and take this manpower cover speed. We also do get institution spread and burgers monthly loyalty, which is pretty nice. Um, we can get three deckers. Yeah, I can turn these into trade company regions. That's fine. <clears throat> I don't have a merchant here, though, anyway. Oh, you know what? Maybe we should because it does have. There's Age of Revolutions. Yeah, it, it does have a, a coastal center trade. Oh, no, we'll probably actually make these into states then. Alright, we'll see. I'll consider it. Yeah, it's probably just better just to make it to a state after this cord. Well, in that case, then, if we're going to start conquering this area, why don't we just start sending uh, colonists out here? Start conquering all of this. Yeah, Spanish have already made headway here. You've got permanent claims on Malaga. See, selective breeding. Someone is sowing discontent. Let's see. Let's make sure nobody has debt. That was Dutch Brazil. Rio de Prata. Okay, alright. Well, anyway. <clears throat> in, um... In the next few episodes, I think we're gonna start to... <clears throat> in the next few episodes, I think we're gonna conquer Cologne and start making some client states and stuff in Europe, but we actually do have a lot of conquests to do in the, in the Dutch East Indies, so... We got that going for us, too. And then we just finished up our military idea group, which is nice. Um, and then we're gonna be able to get this institution here. We got a lot of universities and stuff. Okay, alright, I'm gonna take a break here, guys. I will see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much.